Uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to quickly look at how to take an object in um, Maya and then export it to ZBrush, uh, do some detailing, and then um, we're going to bring it back into Maya and put the normal map on it that we've made in ZBrush. All right, so for example here, we've got like a polygon drag and, and you can see it's like kind of smooth and like not so much detail, but uh, with a normal map, you can put like scales and stuff on it. This is like a pretty low resolution normal map, so there's not that much detail in there, but you can see it looks like heaps better. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're going to do. But, so today we're going to make a um, coin and put like a head on it and stuff like that and see how it looks. So let's quickly create a cylinder. Press X, get it on the axis nice and centered. Um, bring it up a bit like that. And then we'll press 6 so we can see what we're doing. All right, I'm going to put like a bit of extra geometry in here like that just so when we're doing stuff, um, ZBrush will hold the shape a bit better if we bend the coin like an old coin or something like that. Alright, um, with normal mapping, like uh, your UVs are really important, but today I'm just going to do automatic mapping. You might want to do it better, like for yourself, but um, we get something like that with automatic mapping, which I'll do for today, just a coin, but yeah, usually your UVs are pretty important. Alright, and then we're going to get our um, insert edge loop tool, which I've got up on my shelf here. And we're going to put two in here just to hold the shape when we subdivide it in ZBrush. Object mode. Alright, and then uh, in your settings and preferences in your Ply to get your little plugin manager, make sure you've got your um, OBJ export loaded so we can export this as an OBJ. Export selection, and I'm going to put it on my desktop in a folder called Coin, and we're going to call this object Coin. All right, and then we flip over to ZBrush and import our coin. Slap it down. Hit Edit Mode. And there's our coin. Um, Divide the geometry, I'm going to do it to seven subdivisions, which is about a million polygons. All right, uh, in your brush, make sure you turn back face mask on. So when we're doing stuff, um, it only goes on one side, which is cool. All right, I'm going to grab the drag net and I made an alpha of a head and we're going to see if we can put that on there. Alright, so it's going to look like that, but that's a bit full on. So it changes the intensity, you can do it by pressing um, space. There's like all shortcuts and stuff, but you can do it up here, whatever floats your boat. Um, put the head down, see if we can get it kind of in the center. It's kind of alright. Like that. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're going to go into the transform and to activate symmetry, change it to Y, put on radial count so we get, we can work evenly all around and um, change this draw size down a fair bit. I'm going to switch to my pen instead of the mouse. Um, well, we've still got the drag net on, so change this back to whatever you want. Alpha off. Now we're going to change the Z intensity back up. Now you can just do whatever you want here. I'm just going to make kind of like a coin quickly. You can use your um, lazy mouse, which you can find in your stroke down here. And you get a bit of a smoother line, but it kind of takes slower, and I don't have much time to do this. One, I'm going to put the radial count up a bit. Oops, that's probably a bit too far. Just so it takes a bit less time. Again. And basically, yeah, just make like a bit of a coin type of thing. Put like little swirls or whatever you want. You know, like kind of like an old coin type of thing. And also get on these edges here and you know, coins have kind of got that. 
put the radio count up and do this as well. But right. And there we go. We've got kind of like a basic little coin thing. You could flip it around on the back and I don't know, make like more. Oops. I don't know what that is, but. Ooh, it looks funky. Alright, so don't look like that. And we got kind of like a basic coin, you could put text or whatever. Alright, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go down to the lower subdivision. We're gonna see how it's kind of changed a bit in there. I'm gonna take this temperature off. Um, we're gonna export this again. You don't have to, but um, kind of looks cool. So I'm gonna change it to coin for Maya. Alright, so down on the lower subdivision level, go into texture, make a new texture. I'm going to do um, 2000 by 2000. Doesn't matter, like, you can do less, but this is going to hold a fair bit of the detail and stuff. And we're going to go to our Z mapper. Alright, and there's our coin, we can make it spin or whatever. And then we are going to open configuration, um, my uh, tangent space node best quality. And we'll go down to normal and cavity map. I don't know if you can see that on there. I think it's cut a bit off the screen. And um, basically, just for this, we're just going to do create normal map. If you want to do more detail and stuff, change the samples um, up higher. There's a lot of stuff here, but just for a quick one, we're just going to do this and there we go there's our coin and it kind of looks cool bit of detail all right then we'll go back into our texture oh, it looks a bit funny because it flips it for Maya Maya does it upside down does it backwards so we will take our texture export it and we're going to export it as a tiff change the name maybe coin normal there we go, and then we'll go back into Maya. Alright, and we can, I'm just going to start this from the start again. We can import our coin that we made from Maya. There we go, six. And then let's chuck a uh, blin on it. So where's our thing? Oops, wrong one, wrong one, blin just so we can get a bit of specular and see what we're doing. Uh, go to bump map, in, uh, do file, change the bump, use as tangent space normal, go to file, find our, whoa, where are we? Just coin, coin normal map, or normal, whatever you call it. And then basically that's it. I'm gonna change the mental ray for a sec. This looks better. Dun, 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 dun. Slow, 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 and then give it a quick render. It's probably on the wrong side. Oh, that's the back of our coin. We're going to like look on this side. What we want to do as well is like quickly just uh, soften the edges on the normals, so we don't get like crazy faceting there. There we go. There's our coin with our head on it. Just to make it look better, you could um, I don't know uh, change it into a subdiv. Three frame it. See how it looks. There we go, and take a picture. There you go, there's our coin, a bit of detail on it, and our normal map. Um, you can do whatever, change it to like a gold colour or something like that. Um, yeah, and just play around with it. But that's basically how you take normal maps and use them in Maya, like um, in like two seconds. Oh, that's a strange goal. All right, thanks for listening. See ya.